Hey, hey, what's happening, my Share the Joy family? It's Kimberly Joy Morgan, and I hope you guys are doing well. Remember, this is the place where health and wellness meets passion and purpose. It has been a week, y'all. My kids just went back to school, and it's online 100%. So having them at two different tables, you know, doing their thing. It's pretty crazy. Hey, Torin, it's so good to see you. So trying to be quiet for them. Like I'm even trying to be a little subdued today. What's happening, Chris? So good to see you. So having them at two different tables and all that kind of stuff has been a lot. And I've gotten a lot of cleaning done. And one thing, I found a hack and I had to share it with you all. So how many people have ever, by like a thumbs up in the comments section, had you know maybe a, a scab or something or a nosebleed at night and you get blood on a pillow or on your sheets in some particular way i know i have and then you're like man especially if it's dried it doesn't always come out really well well here is a hack that i learned and a trick i hope that you stay on to learn and to understand this so the first thing you're going to need is water all right so just a little bit of water depending upon how much, you can either use a spray bottle or you can you know, drop a little bit on from a cup. You're also gonna need hydrogen peroxide, all right? Hydrogen peroxide, okay? So just, just go to the store, cheap, easy, that. The next thing you're gonna need is an iron, all right? So get your trusty iron and your ironing board, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that area that has a little bit of blood and you're going to spritz it with water first. Just kind of soak it so it's wet. And then you're gonna take a cotton swab. You know, some people like to call them by their uh, brand name, but I'm not gonna do that, so I don't want them to shut down my actual uh, video today. <laughs> but a cotton swab. And you're gonna dip the cotton swab into the hydrogen peroxide, okay? So you dip it into the hydrogen peroxide and then you rub that on the blood and you'll you know switch sides however many cotton swabs you need and you rub that on let it sit for five minutes one two three four five all right five minutes and then afterwards you're going to with your iron on a hot setting you're going to iron it and it will pretty much take it out if it doesn't guess what just repeat the process wet it put the hydrogen peroxide let it sit five more minutes try again i guarantee you your stain will be completely gone. No bleach, no harsh chemicals, no scrubbing, none of that. So I hope that that little piece of share the joy brought some uh, joy, right? <laughs> Novel word to your life and that it's made things a little bit easier. Uh, you know, hopefully you're not dealing with blood stains a lot, but it, that would work on even clothing. It doesn't just have to be sheets, but um, I just wanted to share that with you because I was looking for something to help my sheets uh, that... It had a, a scrape and ended up with some on that pillow. Hey, Pammy, um, I'm, I'm glad that hopefully that helps. And even like, you know, in catering or anything, some things can happen. You don't have to destroy it and throw it away. Use this little hack and do me a favor, hit the share button and share the joy. Just let people know because I think it's a pretty cool one that we didn't grow up getting information about. Oh, thanks, Chris. I appreciate that. You are so welcome. All right. So remember, for those who just hopped on, please listen to this again because you'll love this cleaning hack. All you need, hydrogen peroxide, water, or not water, like this is water, <laughs> hydrogen peroxide, water, a cotton swab, and an iron. All right. So love you all so much. I hope that you enjoyed today. Remember to do all things with joy. Remember to share the joy, and I will see you again next week. Peace and blessings. Bye-bye.